All right. So. Ten weeks after the August 13th thing. Kelly Jackson comes to Enfield Town Square on Facebook and makes a post. I'm not going to read it. This video is already going to be way too long. But clearly she's trying to stir things up. Um, I, I, I don't know any other reason for her to post this other than to try to stir things up and cause problems. Um, makes no sense. But I'll be sure to make the the pictures that you see. Um, I'll I'll get those uploaded to the uh, AbsolutionCT.com website so you can see them if you want. Or you can just pause the video. So, I responded to her. Two wrongs don't make a right. I saw part of one of the videos. I've not seen the others, so my opinion may change. But this is where I'm at with it right now. Uh, she doesn't like that. That's a problem. My post continues. Again, hope you take this as it's meant as it's not fighting words. I've never attacked you. I've never insulted you. I've attacked your words. I've attacked, I've insulted your words, but I've never attacked you. So please take what I've said to heart. There's a better way. Do you think she listened? No, 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 she didn't listen. So this is private messages between her and I. And it goes from bad to worse pretty quick, as you might expect. All right. Uh, it's been on my page for weeks. I said, I, I don't look at your page. Someone sent me a link to a video yesterday. That's when I saw it. So she admits that she has a page. So I had made a comment that I had heard that when her son was going to the houses, that he had his jersey around his neck, not actually wearing it. By the time the police got there, with the body cams, he already had the shirt on. It's a minor point, but it's what I heard. So here she sends me a, a picture of the police body cam showing me that he has his jersey on. I know the body cam, the police weren't there when it first happened. And here I... I said I might be wrong. I'll stick with it. That's just what I had heard. Screenshot with his jersey on from the body cam. I, I know. And this is when she starts swearing at me. She says, my son was not trying to take the flag. So, for those that don't know, the supposedly, it looked like the son was looking in the back of the truck or looking at the flag in the back of the truck because there was a Trump flag in the back of the truck. We don't have confirmation necessarily on anything it's just what I've heard and this is where she starts calling me a piece of shit then she says offer help by posting lies offer ideas first off I didn't ask for any conversation she posted on the Enfield Town Square group what are you posting there for if you don't want a conversation that's the whole point of posting there is to have a conversation. So this is why I banned her. And then she goes a little off the rails a little bit more. And this is when I blocked her. In all of this, she had gotten people from her groups uh, to come over on to the uh, Enfield Town Square on Facebook and start attacking me. So in looking at who these people were and some of their backgrounds, um, a few of them were proudly displaying that they're members of Antifa, um, members of local BM BLM organizations, um, leaders, a leader of the local BLM organization, um, not from Enfield, Nothing to do with Enfield, but 
they're there to start problems with me. I started banning them, and then a couple of them decided it would be a good idea because what I said was so horrible that they should go to my work's Facebook page and start posting on that, start posting racist stuff on that. For, for what? They don't want to have a conversation. They just want to yell. They don't want to talk. They don't want to listen. They just want to yell. So Kelly said she had a page. So this is Kelly's page. And it's not just Kelly, but it's mostly Kelly. She says, this is what Rob Anderson said about Kelly's son's situation. It's talking in a third person, so that couldn't be Kelly. Nothing but lies. He claims to be helping and can't understand why he got attacked. Whoever is saying this has access to the private messages between Kelly and I, but this can't be Kelly because he's talking about it in the third person. But it's because he can't take what he dishes. You obsess over people and an assignment, but then say, I'm crazy for getting upset. So now we're in the first person. So this is Kelly. Let me look to, at the edits. Oh, there's edits. It originally said, this is what Rob Anderson said about my son's situation. So it's clearly Kelly, but she's trying to hide it and she's trying to play it off like it's a third party. That's pretty deceiving. She can't just say, my son. This whole thing that she does, where she tries to make it like other people are the ones that are talking, but it's just her. So other people are talking about Kelly when it's really just Kelly that's talking about herself. That's deceiving. If I say something, it's coming from me. It's not coming from some unknown screen name anything like that, it's coming from me. I'll put my name on it. If I say it, I'll put my name on it. Here's some of the responses. You know, they call me a racist. They call me delusional, insane. Something about a black flag. I don't even know what the hell that means, but apparently they think a black flag is threatening. Here's where I had to make a post saying that I had to ban everybody that Kelly sent over. And I didn't want to do that, but people can't play nice. Then we got the ERTC post where they post all the names and addresses and phone numbers and emails of the members of the ERTC, uh, Enfield Republican Town Committee, again. The Enfield Republican Town Committee has done nothing to Liz. They have done nothing to Kelly. Nothing. She thinks they did. She's convinced they did. But no, they did nothing. And even one of their friends thinks it's a problem. Putting people's personal information up there, it's a safety thing. That could be dangerous. They don't care. And then we get to this lovely thing. 